Welcome everyone. Good afternoon to the people here in Singapore. Good morning to the people, or afternoon or evening, to the people, or night, and to the people all around the world. Welcome to the Wiki Shtetl uh, session. My name is Amichai Bennett. Uh, I've been a Wikipedian for, we're just calculating, 17 years. That's a long time, since 2006, mainly in Hebrew Wikipedia. I made tens of thousands of edits. And uh, I've, uh, in my professional life, I, uh, I work uh, in, in educational organizations, working with uh, Jews in Israel and Jews all around the world in the diaspora. And just under a year ago, I started a new job at Herzog College. I'm director of Herzog Global. Uh, Herzog College trains teachers, and we do the same thing with uh, Jewish schools and communities around the world. And uh, they told me, listen, there's this, um, this project that uh, started at Herzog College. One of the lecturers started something called Wiki Shtetl, and we just got um, the government of Israel are partnering with us. The Ministry of Diaspora Affairs, United, which is an educational organization funded by them. Um, would you mind? I said, what do you mean? Wiki Shtetl? The legendary project that has been working, and, and you'll hear about it now, so I won't uh, go into a lot of details. And I said, yeah, that's so great, because this is a uh, connects my hobby of Wikipedia, which I spend a lot of time on, with my day job that pays me a salary. So what could be better? Right? So, um, so here we are today, looking forward to hearing about Wiki Shtetl. My colleague, Dr. Tila Hertz, who's a professor of education and history at uh, Herzog College and an educational entrepreneur, we, um, <clears throat> we're going to hear from her about how the project started and what has been done until now. And we'll talk about what, is, what we're planning to do in the future as well. But I'm asking you, the people either watching live now here or online, or if you're watching it in the uh, days, weeks, and months to come as well, to think about how this can be relevant for your uh, either Wikipedia editing or your communities. So that's what we're asking you to have in mind. Um, before we actually start, I wanted to, uh, to mention uh, and to talk about uh, Dror Lin, our friend, somebody that uh, we did so many things together on so many different uh, aspects of life and Wikipedia, which is intertwined with each other. Uh, you can see on the right side, the small picture is Dora and I about 10 years ago uh, on a trip, which uh, I think Bet Gouvrin, uh, in which uh, Dora organized the trip in order to take pictures of, of the area, but really in order to uh, socialize and meet and, and uh, uh, get new uh, people to edit on Wikipedia. And this is from last summer, the, the big picture is from last summer. You can see Dror holding, uh, this was when he was notified that he became the Wikimedia, uh, Wikipedia laureate of, of 2022. And you could see that guy smiling on the right. That's me with a little bit of a scrubby beard. So um, Dror, we remember you and uh, we'll continue remembering you. And now I would like to introduce Dr. Tehila Hertz, who is also on Wikipedia. You'll see her username later. Thank you, and thank you for coming. Um, so in 2016, I was teaching a teacher's training course in Holocaust studies, and I wanted an idea for an assignment that would have extra value with meaning and connection, because our story doesn't begin and end with the mass destruction that was Holocaust. And who we are as a people, is much more wide and deep and profound than what was done to us by the Nazis. I was already a big fan of the free open encyclopedia and with the understanding of the power of the connection between stories of the past and technological platform of the future, Wikistatter was born. The project aims to commemorate Jewish communities that no longer exist in their original geographic place by writing about them in Wikipedia and uploading historic photos and visual data to Wikimedia Commons. Later on, we held three open Wikipedia contests, giving people from the Wikipedia community and outside it 
the opportunity and incentive to tell the stories of their ancestral communities. The project was originally aimed in communities that were destroyed in the Holocaust, but later expanded to Jewish communities that existed all over the globe. Through the program, we have witnessed memories living within survivors and laying forgotten in dusty archives, see light. Today, I would like to share with you 10 things that you can take from the project and suggest that you consider adopting and adapting this model to record the past of other lost communities. So, curiosity and involvement is something we see in the project. Word of the contest gets out to the public and many people we've never edited in Wikipedia sign up. Our family history and roots mean a lot to us and putting them out there in the world gives us place and value. For example, this is how Shmuel a survivor from Slovakia thanked the student who wrote an entry on his community. We encourage people to write about communities they have a personal connection to. In the student's freestyle feedback, you can see the dominance of the roots and how they mirrored by the branches that symbolize the present and the future. When working on Wikistetal entries, the older generation brings its knowledge, memories, photographs, and stories, and the younger brings its 21st century skills that enable those memories and stories to live on to future generations. It is our view that no community is too small or unimportant to be deserving of mention and memory. Like the, commu like the community of Najfal, whose small Jewish population was completely wiped out in the Holocaust with an information on the community almost didn't exist, even in the Yad Vashem database. Through the Wikistetal project, the community was internalized and its people given face and name. With the project, people get closure. Like the father of Malvina Dax, a woman who was murdered by the Nazis with her husband and their baby son. Before he died, before her father died, he gave her photo to a close family friend and asked her that she do something with it. With the project, she fulfilled, fulfilled the referred father's will. The switch from being a knowledge consumer to being a knowledge curator is very meaningful. And in a constructed learning environment, it is much needed switch. Wikistatal has all the advantages of project-based learning that involved many subjects and developed a variety of skills. Service learning takes the learning product out of the classroom to the benefit of the community. For example, the entry on Benghazi, Libya. The students who wrote it wanted to raise awareness to the Holocaust in North Africa, 
since Holocaust studies focus mostly on European communities, but North Africa Jews were part of the Holocaust as well. One of the students showed the entry to her father-in-law, who started to cry and told his teachers never believed him when he told his family's Holocaust story. And now we finally get validated. With Wikish Tata, students work on information collection, independent learning, problem solving, team skills, and inter intercultural skills. Wikipedia represents the belief that knowledge belongs to everyone and that the truth is reached when a variety of people work together, each adding from their knowledge and perspective. It is our vision that as Wikistator expands, people from all over the world get involved helping the descendment of Jewish communities that existed in their cities and towns preserve their memories and preserve their own local history, thus weaving together the human tapestry. So the Jewish story is unique, but it is also one of many stories of a people who no longer exist in the place they did. We believe the Wikish Tatan model can be adopted and adapted to conserving other communities. We invite you to, make, to take this model to your communities, especially if you are part of a group that no longer exists in the place it originally had, to preserve your unique heritage, language, customs, art, music, history, and stories. Thank you. Thank you very much. So we, uh, when we ask about what's next, so we heard about this amazing project growing from 2016, starting with uh, Dr. Tehila Hertz's students at Herzog College, expanding to the entire Hebrew Wikipedia uh, community, and now, together with uh, our partnership with uh, with United and with the uh, the government of Israel, the Ministry of Diaspora Affairs, we're able to take it globally. So, what have we done, and what do we want to do? And then we want to hear from you what you suggest or what you're thinking about as well. So, one thing we want to we want to think we want to do is we want to prepare. We already prepared a uh, a program which an educational uh, teacher training program throughout this, this coming school year, which starts in September 2023 in the Northern Hemisphere. We're going to work this year with four schools as a small pilot, two in Israel and two outside, uh, outside of Israel. And we're going to train the teachers in Wikipedia. What does it mean? Of course, first as knowledge consumers, like Tehila said, then uh, how to write in Wikipedia, how to, f how to f research in order to find the information that you need. As you know, my grandmother told me, we don't think your grandmother lied, but that's not uh, a, uh, a source that you can uh, trust or use on Wikipedia, but there's, your grandmother can point you in the right direction. And uh, so this, this teacher training program is, uh, is already being built as we speak. It's going to run for the first time this year. And then following that, starting next year, 24-25, we're going to have an online asynchronous course, which we, we're going to work hard to prepare, and then you can use it many, many times. We're starting in Hebrew and English, but we're really open to have it in more languages. So you think about your languages. And of course, we're looking for uh, people around the world, whether you're watching online or whether you're here, that want to partner with us, whether it's because you want to, I mean, the you want to preserve the memory of Jewish communities, like we've done so far in Israel, and we want to do it around the world, or whether you want to use this model to preserve the memory of other lost communities or communities that perhaps are being lost as we speak, and using our model. And what we want to do is we, we know how to run these, not only know how to run the, the competitions and to train the people to do it, we also know how to give 
prizes, which is you know, an, an incentive to people to register to Wikipedia and join the competition. If you want us to join you and to help you to do that, we know how to do that and we'd, we'd love to do it with you. So that's the, you know, what we're doing right now. There's many people to thank. All the, we, we put many logos, as you can see, as we mentioned already, sp speaking about the people and the people on Hebrew Wikipedia who helped us. We're very, very, very grateful to them and to the people that are here, of course, that are listening and that are watching right now as we speak. And now we'd love to hear from you. So there's two options. Option number one is just to contact us directly. That's my user, English and Hebrew. Tehila wrote her name in Hebrew, so you can also use, of course, the email addresses if it's easier. And in a second, I'm also going to click on a Padlet page that we opened. We also, you can use the QR code to get to this Padlet page. If you're watching this, you know, later than August 17th, 2023, you can go in, into the Padlet and see what people already uh, commented and suggested and comment on what they say. We get notifications when this uh, page is updated, so you can continue uh, watching and doing this as well. So if you have any suggestions, questions, comments, we'd love to hear. Please, yes. The microphone is... Here we go. There we go. Also introduce yourself, if you don't mind. I'm Miki from Wikimedia Serbia. I'm really interested in your project and it's been uh, transfer to me how we can actually use it as well uh, for the communities that uh, we had and lost within Serbia's uh, territories so we also had a lot of communities that uh, Jewish communities that were that perished during the Holocaust so um, my I mean that's why I want to thank you for this project and it's, it's really significant worldwide my question is how do you tackle the lack of information that is, um, I mean, you, you want to inspire people to write about the communities or territories that were lost, the, the communities, the people that were lost, but you don't have uh, probably a lot of resources where they were mentioned. How do the students tackle that problem? You said my grandma told me, but if, if not by grandma, how else are we going to have this information? if, you know, the, the communities have perished. Thank you. We'll keep it, okay. So we'll listen to more questions and then we'll try and answer. Oh, at the end, there are, I mean, I could say in generally, of course, that there are, a, there is the energy of preserving memories. People don't always know what to do with it. Something is happening or happened and it could be something that's even happening today. There's a war or a community being lost for whatever reason, and people want to help. So some people will go to the, on the ground and try and help and save lives. Some people can't. Some people can't right now travel, and they're sitting in their pajamas or in their slippers at home. And you could still change the world in your pajamas and slippers, you know that, right? You're Wikipedians, and we do that though, every day and every night. So, so what I'm saying is that we can, uh, I mean, the fact that you're on the ground in Serbia helps you to know to get to the people that have that information. So that's why if we would, you know, if we would choose to partner, I think it would be, you know, let's say a coordinator, let's say, and through Wikimedia Serbia, that would be um, uh, talking or finding this information or the people that have the information or the archives that have the information or the people that know where the archives are even buried maybe even somewhere. And, and that's how they would, uh, they would, they, they would uh, bring and use the knowledge, the, the know-how that we have to connect it. So obviously there's a lot of details that we could talk. So I see officially time is up. So if there's one last comment. Good, so thank you very much, everybody. Thank you, Teila. And now we'll just take a, we need to take a picture with this, uh, this Itzik will take a picture of us with this. Uh, and then Slema. Okay. Iman. Tadaraba. Thank you very much, everybody. Yeah. Thank you. Hi, everybody. Thank you.